Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Let's start off uh, with polyp extension. So that's a topic that uh, mm -hmm. you know we're uh, you know is is very near and dear to my heart because I had a recent experience with polyp extension. I I rebooted my 187 gallon tank. I just planted a whole bunch of frags in that uh, in that tank. But before I planted all these uh, frags in that tank, I um, I had this um, beautiful captive bred um, regal angelfish from Biota that I had in in one of my frag tanks. For about three months, it's a little guy, you know, about one and uh, one quarter inches long. So he was in the uh, in the display tank before I started planting frags, and then um, I planted the frags, and then uh, and and these were frags that had some serious polyp extension in the frag tank, which where where the where the regal was in that frag tank, but the regal was hanging out underneath the frag racks. Well, this regal angelfish became very bold when I planted frags in the big display tank and uh, took a liking to, mm -hmm. uh, to all my frags. So, I don't know, uh, about a week after I, I planted these frags, I noticed there was no polyp extension. How important is, you know, polyp extension for SPS? You know, is that mm -hmm. something that uh, if you've got a, a, a fish like that that's constantly nipping, is that not a good thing? Or if the polyps are out at night, is that, are those frags going to survive? Um, actually, that uh, what you have seen is a very common thing happening in the ocean. So um, many Acropora, well, uh, mostly that we are focused on Acropora here because that like uh, bird's nest and uh, Styrophora, they always have their polyps out. So uh, many Agropora actually do not extend their polyp during daytime for the same reason. It's avoid predation. So at night, when the fish are sleeping and then uh, the plankton from the deep water started rising up, so um, then Agropora open up to feed. So this is very common when, when they, there's a predator around and then you just take several pack for that fish on the coral. The coral realize, oh no, that is, um, uh, they have to retract their polyp. So it's a very common thing. But keep in mind that uh, if the angelfish are not sleeping at night, or they wake up in the phone for some reason, say, hey, let's just have some fun and start packing your coral at night, that is a big problem. So basically, I won't consider that angelfish is uh, SPS or Acropora safe. So uh, it doesn't require a lot of picking. You just uh, the fish pack the coral several times uh, a day, and that will cause that polyp extension. But now the polyp extension is really not what you should concern about. Is what you should concern about is the stress yeah. that caused by the fish. So when the polyp is, is retracted, there's several reasons for it. One, well, in your case, is because there's a predator, they stress out, so they retract the polyp. So they definitely affect the photosynthesis. Uh, affect the whole, uh, well, the mentality of the coral. Well, the animals. So uh, my suggestion is that, of course, that no matter how beautiful that fish is, it probably belongs to his own aquarium, maybe like a fish-only tank. 